Games We Love, Journey to Silius. If you've heard about this game, then you probably already know that it was originally planned and advertised as a Terminator game. If you haven't heard of this game, it's a really cool run and gun platformer on the NES. Sunsoft has some pretty hardcore games on the system with excellent visuals and soundtracks. And man, Journey to Silius may have one of the best soundtracks top to bottom on the console. You play as Jay and get a pretty dark prologue about terrorists responsible for your father's death. That's about all you get in the story as you start blasting. Jay is easy enough to control, but sometimes is slow to swap directions. I do really like Jay's crouching animation though. Dude has some tactical positioning. The game is pretty short, standing at five levels, that once you play through a few times, you'll get the hang of. You may have to play through them a bit though, as you have limited lives and continues. Health can be dropped by enemies, but sometimes it feels like you have a better chance at finding the Sword of Kings and Earthbound than any health relief in this title. Which can be tough, because unless you're prepared for whatever machine is going to come flying from the side of the screen shooting at you, you're going to take a lot of damage. I found that this game is all about patterns. Rushing into enemies, especially the unconventional bosses, will get you killed fast. It's important to pay attention to the patterns and utilize the variety of weapons you acquire throughout. These use up energy, but honestly, I only ever found myself using the same two or three blasters the entire game, and even then I wanted to save them for the more robust enemies and bosses. The game is good enough to try out because of how it plays, but the soundtrack is definitely worth a listen and pushes it into the realm of games we love.